Joe Sawyer, a talented actor, left an indelible mark on the film and television industry. Born on August 29, 1906, in Toronto, Canada, Sawyer pursued his passion for acting and made a name for himself in Hollywood. Throughout his career, Sawyer appeared in numerous classic films, including Gone with the Wind and The Searchers. He also starred in various TV shows, such as The Lone Ranger and Gunsmoke, where he showcased his versatility as an actor. Sawyer's contributions to the entertainment industry extend beyond his on-screen performances. He was also a skilled writer and director, contributing to the creation of many memorable stories and characters. Despite his many accomplishments, Sawyer remained humble and dedicated to his craft. He continued to work in the industry until his passing on March 21, 1982, leaving behind a legacy that continues to inspire aspiring actors and filmmakers to this day. Sawyer's impact on the entertainment industry is undeniable. His ability to bring characters to life and tell captivating stories has left a lasting impression on audiences and industry professionals alike. Whether on the big screen or the small screen, Sawyer's performances continue to resonate with viewers, reminding us of the power of storytelling and the enduring appeal of classic films and TV shows. Joe Sawyer was a well-known actor, appearing in numerous films and TV shows throughout his career. You might recognize him from his roles in classic westerns and war movies. Perhaps you have a personal story about how Joe Sawyer has inspired or impacted your life. We'd love to hear it. Share your memories and experiences with us in the comments below. Do you know any interesting facts or anecdotes about Joe Sawyer that aren't widely known? Let us know. We're always looking to learn more about this classic star. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Joe Sawyer? Tell us all about it in the comments and stay tuned because there are many funny, shocking, and sad facts coming up about this beloved actor. You won't want to miss it. Joe Sawyer, born Joseph Sowers on August 29, 1906, in Guelph, Ontario, Canada, was exposed to the world of acting at a young age. His father, a vaudeville performer, introduced him to the craft. The family later moved to the United States, where Sawyer's interest in acting grew. As a teenager, Sawyer became enamored with the silent film era and was particularly influenced by the work of Charlie Chaplin. He began performing in high school plays and local theater productions, honing his craft and developing his unique style. After graduating from high school, Sawyer pursued acting professionally and landed his first film role in 1928. He continued to work in film throughout the 1930s and 1940s, appearing in over 200 films and television shows. Sawyer's career was influenced by several key mentors, including director John Ford and actor John Wayne. Ford, known for his westerns, cast Sawyer in several of his films and helped to establish him as a reliable character actor. Wayne, a close friend of Sawyer's, also influenced his career, and the two often worked together on films. Sawyer's upbringing, exposure to vaudeville and silent films, and mentorship from influential figures in the industry all contributed to his successful career as a character actor in classic Hollywood films. Joe Sawyer, born Joseph Sowers on August 29, 1892, in Toronto, Canada, was the youngest of six children. His father was a blacksmith, and his mother, a homemaker. At a young age, Sawyer's family moved to the United States, where he grew up in Port Huron, Michigan. Sawyer's interest in acting began in his teenage years when he joined a local theater group. After high school, he pursued his passion for acting and attended the American Academy of Dramatic Arts in New York City. In 1916, Sawyer made his film debut in the Battle of Hearts. However, his career was put on hold when he joined the United States Army during World War I. After the war, he returned to acting and appeared in several silent films. Sawyer's breakthrough role came in the early 1930s when he was cast as Sergeant William Preston in the popular film series The Three Musketeers. He appeared in 21 films in the series, which helped establish him as a recognizable face in Hollywood. Throughout his career, Sawyer appeared in over 200 films and television shows. He was known for playing tough, no-nonsense characters, often as a police officer or a military officer. He worked with some of Hollywood's biggest stars, including John Wayne, Errol Flynn, and Humphrey Bogart. Sawyer's career spanned over four decades, and he continued to act until his death on May 18, 1982. His contributions to the film industry have left a lasting impact and his work continues to be celebrated by film enthusiasts today. As a young boy, Joe Sawyer was already captivated by the magic of cinema. He would often sneak into movie theaters, mesmerized by the actor's performances. One day, while watching a silent film, he found himself laughing and crying along with the characters. 
It was in this moment that he realized the power of storytelling through acting. Driven by this newfound passion, Joe began performing in school plays and community theater. His natural talent and dedication quickly set him apart. However, it was a chance encounter with a famous actor during a summer stock performance that truly ignited his pursuit of a career in acting. The actor, taken by Joe's raw talent and enthusiasm, offered him guidance and encouragement. This pivotal experience solidified Joe's determination to become an actor. He moved to New York City, honing his craft in various stage productions before transitioning to film and television. Throughout his career, Joe Sawyer left an indelible mark on the industry, appearing in numerous classic films and shows. His passion for acting, sparked by a simple trip to the movies, fueled a lifetime of memorable performances. In the 1930s, Joe Sawyer was known in the film industry for his rugged appearance and was even referred to as the toughest looking heavy in films by the national press. However, this tough image contrasted with his hobbies of painting and playing musical instruments. One instance that showcased Sawyer's physical strength was during the filming of The Lady Fights back in 1937. His character, Sweet Jansen, got into a fight scene with leading man Kent Taylor's character, Owen Merrill. The intensity of the fight was so real that Taylor ended up breaking two ribs on July 17, 1937, during filming. Sawyer's career extended to the science fiction genre, appearing in the 1953 film It Came From Outer Space as Frank Dalen. The following year, he worked with future Gilligan's Island star Russell Johnson in Taza, son of Cochise, along with Barbara Rush and Rex Reason. Interestingly, Johnson, Reason, and Lance Fuller would all appear together in another science fiction film, This Island Earth, in 1955. Despite his rough exterior, Sawyer's versatility as an actor allowed him to explore various roles and genres, leaving a lasting impact on the film industry. His career serves as a reminder that appearances can be deceiving, and there's often more to a person than meets the eye. Joe Sawyer, the actor, faced many challenges in his early career. Born in 1906, he struggled financially during the Great Depression, which made it difficult for him to pursue his dream of acting. However, he remained determined and took on various jobs to support himself, including working as a stuntman and a prop man. Despite his hard work, the actor faced skepticism from the industry. He was often typecast in certain roles and had to fight for more diverse opportunities. But Sawyer refused to let this hold him back. He began writing and producing his own projects, showcasing his range and talent. One of his most notable works, a classic film, features him in a leading role that challenged his previous typecasting. This film not only showcased his talent, but also proved his resilience and determination to overcome industry stereotypes. Sawyer's story is a testament to the power of perseverance and creativity in the face of adversity. His ability to find creative solutions to the obstacles he faced is an inspiration to aspiring actors and a reminder that success is possible with hard work and determination. After making his feature film debut in The Public Enemy as an uncredited pool player, Joe Sawyer found success in a surprising way. In 1954, ABC aired Rin 10-10, a show that quickly became the network's second most watched program with a 30% market share. Of the 30 million television sets in use at the time, 9 million tuned in to watch Rin 1010, surpassing the viewership of CBS's Lassie by millions. Sawyer had begun his career on Broadway in the early 1930s, where he played many comedic roles. However, upon signing with Warner Brothers, he found himself cast in gangster roles. It wasn't until 1936 that he was given the chance to play a different type of character when he was cast as Father Reed, a priest in The Accusing Finger. Sawyer saw this as a positive sign that he might be offered more diverse roles in the future. Despite his preference for comedic roles, it wasn't until the 1950s Ren Tin Tin series that Sawyer had the opportunity to regularly showcase his comedic talents. He played the recurring role of Sergeant Biff O'Hara, a character that allowed him to bring levity to the show. In summary, after starting his career in gangster roles, Sawyer found success in a classic television series, playing a comedic role that highlighted his versatility as an actor. In the early 1930s, Joe Sawyer's career took a significant turn when he started working in Hollywood films. His breakthrough moment came with the 1934 film Manhattan Melodrama, where he shared the screen with Clark Gable and William Powell. This classic, directed by W.S. Van Dyke, was a pivotal project for Sawyer as it gained critical acclaim and established him in the film industry. One of Sawyer's most memorable roles was in the 1945 film Back to Bataan, 
where he portrayed a sergeant alongside John Wayne. This film not only resonated with audiences due to its wartime setting, but also showcased Sawyer's ability to deliver powerful performances. According to co-star John Wayne, Joe brought a sense of authenticity and grit to his role that truly elevated the film. Later in his career, Sawyer became a familiar face on television, particularly in Western series. His role as Deputy Clay Horton in the show The Deputy, starring Henry Fonda, gained him considerable recognition. Series creator Warren Duff praised Sawyer's performance, stating, Joe's portrayal of Deputy Clay Horton was integral to the show's success. His ability to balance authority and approachability made him a fan favorite. Throughout his career, Joe Sawyer's work transcended the boundaries of film and television, leaving an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. His breakthrough moments in Manhattan melodrama, Back to Bataan, and the deputy serve as testament to his enduring impact and the lasting legacy he left behind. Joe Sawyer, an actor known for his work in film and television, once shared in an interview, I've always been drawn to acting because of the opportunity to explore different characters and stories. This sentiment is reflected in his diverse body of work. In the classic film to have and have not, Sawyer played the memorable character of Eddie, a bartender. Humphrey Bogart, Sawyer's co-star, praised his ability to bring depth to even the smallest roles, stating, Joe has a knack for making every line count. Behind the scenes of the show The Adventures of Rin Tin Tin, Sawyer was known for his kindness and mentorship. He would often share his wisdom and experience with younger cast members, making a positive impact on the set. Sawyer's talent for transforming into various characters is also evident in his role as Sheriff Elroy in The Lone Ranger. Despite the challenges of working with limited resources, Sawyer delivered a memorable performance that resonated with audiences. In addition to his on-screen work, Sawyer was an active member of the Hollywood community. He often attended industry events and was known for his engaging conversations and stories about the golden age of film. To this day, Sawyer's work continues to inspire and entertain audiences, serving as a testament to his talent and enduring impact on the industry. His ability to bring characters to life and his dedication to his craft have left an indelible mark on classic film and television. Joe Sawyer, an actor who left his mark on classic films and television, had a unique approach to his work. He was known for his meticulous preparation and immersion into each character he played. Sawyer believed in truly becoming the character, understanding their motivations, and living their experiences. His artistic vision was deeply rooted in his personal experiences and worldview. Growing up in a family of performers, Sawyer developed a deep appreciation for the craft at a young age. This early exposure shaped his perspective on acting, leading him to value authenticity and emotional depth above all else. Sawyer's approach to his work was methodical and thorough. He would spend hours researching and analyzing each character, taking note of their background, relationships, and motivations. He would then use this information to create a detailed backstory for the character, allowing him to fully embody them on screen. One of the most unique aspects of Sawyer's style was his ability to bring a sense of realism to his performances. He avoided exaggerated gestures and over-the-top emotions, instead opting for subtle, nuanced expressions that conveyed the complexity of his characters. Sawyer's personal experiences and worldview were reflected in his work in subtle yet powerful ways. His upbringing in a family of performers gave him a deep understanding of the human condition which he brought to his characters. He was also known for his strong sense of social justice, which was reflected in his choice of roles and the messages he conveyed through his work. In conclusion, Joe Sawyer's artistic vision and process were deeply rooted in his personal experiences and worldview. His meticulous preparation, commitment to authenticity, and ability to bring realism to his performances made him a standout actor in classic films and television. Joe Sawyer's father, a butcher in Guelph, Ontario, Canada, passed away when the actor was just a child. Every summer, Sawyer would join his family in Saskatchewan to work on his uncle's farm. Sawyer was known for his relentless work ethic. In addition to his acting career, he took advantage of California's booming housing market and worked in home construction on the side. He would drive to the studio with a pickup truck loaded with lumber and then head straight to the construction site after work. In his personal life, Sawyer was also connected to the world of film. He was the former brother-in-law of actress K.T. Stevens and Hugh Marlowe. Despite his many pursuits, Sawyer remained dedicated to his craft. He continued to act in films and television shows, leaving a lasting impact on the industry. Joe Sawyer, 
an actor who left his mark on the industry through his diverse roles and enduring performances, contributed significantly to both film and television. Born on August 29, 1906, Sawyer's career spanned over four decades, during which he demonstrated his adaptability and commitment to his craft. In the world of westerns, Sawyer became a familiar face, often portraying tough, rugged characters. His work in films like Stagecoach and The Man from Colorado showcased his ability to bring authenticity and grit to the genre. As an expert in westerns, film historian David Wondrich notes, Sawyer's portrayals were always grounded in reality, giving his characters a sense of authenticity that resonated with audiences. Beyond westerns, Sawyer's range was evident in his work on classic television shows such as The Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet and Perry Mason. He could easily transition between comedic and dramatic roles, leaving a lasting impact on both genres. Sawyer's influence extended to future generations of actors. Actor and director Ron Howard, reflecting on Sawyer's work, shared his ability to adapt to various roles and genres was inspiring. He demonstrated that versatility and dedication to the craft could lead to a long and successful career. The actor's impact on storytelling is undeniable. By embodying a wide range of characters, Sawyer helped to shape narratives and captivate audiences. His work served as a foundation for the evolving landscape of film and television, leaving a legacy that continues to resonate today. As film scholar Sarah Keller notes, Sawyer's contributions are a testament to the power of storytelling and the importance of versatility in the industry. After graduating from Hollywood High School, Joe Sawyer developed an interest in drama. This interest continued to grow during his time at the University of Southern California in the 1920s, where he acted in plays and was discovered by Gilmore Brown of the Pasadena Playhouse. Brown was impressed by Sawyer's performance and offered him a role in George Bernard Shaw's Major Barbara, which marked the beginning of a long-standing association between the actor and the playhouse. During this time, Sawyer also worked in the building and loan business. In 1949, Sawyer produced the film Operation Haylift, which received assurances of cooperation from the U.S. Air Force. The movie depicted the 1948 feeding of blizzard-bound cattle and was shot in Nevada. Towards the end of his career, Sawyer appeared in the classic film How the West Was Won as a Riverboat Officer. This was his final film, bringing to a close a successful career in acting. Joe Sawyer, an actor known for his tough guy roles, had a softer side that was reflected in his personal life and values. A lover of animals, Sawyer could often be found spending time on his ranch, tending to his horses and other livestock. This passion for animals extended beyond his personal life, as he was also known for his advocacy work on their behalf. Sawyer was heavily involved in various animal welfare organizations and causes. He used his platform as an actor to raise awareness for these issues and work tirelessly to make a difference. Sawyer's love for animals was so great that he even incorporated them into his work often sharing the screen with horses, dogs, and other creatures. In addition to his love for animals, Sawyer was also a strong supporter of various children's charities. He believed that every child deserved a fair chance in life and worked to provide opportunities for those in need. Sawyer's philanthropic efforts were not limited to animal welfare and children's charities, as he also supported various other causes throughout his life. Sawyer's personal values and interests were deeply intertwined with his work as an actor. His love for animals and children was reflected in the characters he played and the stories he told. Sawyer's passion for these causes was evident in his advocacy work and his dedication to making a difference in the world. In conclusion, Joe Sawyer was not only a talented actor, but also a kind-hearted individual who was deeply committed to making a positive impact on the world. His love for animals and children, as well as his advocacy work, are a testament to his personal values and his commitment to making a difference. After marrying the love of his life, June Golden, in 1937, Joe Sawyer was devastated when she passed away from leukemia in 1960. Struggling to cope, he left their Glendale home and distanced himself from the film business. His longtime friend, Duke Wayne, encouraged him to take a break and join him in Alaska for a role in the John Wayne film North to Alaska. During his retirement, Joe split his time between a mobile home in Ashland, Oregon and Palm Springs, California. He was known for displaying the stars and stripes and the state flag of Oregon at his Ashland home. In the film Deadline at Dawn, Joe Sawyer played the character of washed-up baseball player Babe Dooley, which was based on Chicago Cubs hitting great Hack Wilson. Wilson's struggles with alcoholism led to his professional and personal decline, 
much like the character played by Joe Sawyer. Joe Sawyer, a seasoned actor, has left an indelible mark on the film industry. His legacy lies in his ability to portray diverse characters with authenticity and depth. In the classic westerns and war films he starred in, Sawyer showcased his talent for bringing complex characters to life. Despite his success, Sawyer remained humble and dedicated to his craft. He believed in the power of storytelling and used his platform to advocate for meaningful narratives. His advice to aspiring actors is to stay true to themselves and never stop learning. Sawyer emphasized the importance of continuously honing one's skills and being open to new experiences. He encouraged aspiring professionals to take risks and step out of their comfort zones. According to Sawyer, the only way to grow is to challenge yourself. Furthermore, Sawyer believed in the power of collaboration and community. He emphasized the importance of supporting one's peers and working together to create something truly special. As for his future contributions, Sawyer envisioned contributions. Sawyer envisioned continuing to tell stories that resonate with audiences and inspire future generations. He believed in the potential of film and television to bring people together and create meaningful dialogue. In conclusion, Sawyer's legacy within the industry is a testament to his talent, dedication, and passion for storytelling. His advice for aspiring professionals is to stay true to themselves, continuously learn, take risks, and support their peers. By following in Sawyer's footsteps, aspiring actors can make their own mark on the industry and continue to tell captivating stories for years to come. After becoming a member of the Screen Actors Guild in late 1935, Joe Sawyer's film career took off. He shared the screen with Humphrey Bogart in seven films, including The Petrified Forest and Black Legion, as well as The Roaring Twenties and Deadline, USA in 1962. The actor was persuaded to make one last film appearance in John Ford's Hound. The West was one, starring John Wayne. Sawyer played a riverboat officer in this classic. Following his retirement from acting, he turned his attention to property development, playing a key role in the construction of various projects in Southern California. These included housing developments, shopping centers, and even a hospital. Sawyer's contributions to the film industry and property development continue to be recognized and appreciated. Joe Sawyer, a dedicated actor, began his journey in the 1930s. He appeared in numerous films and TV shows, demonstrating his passion for storytelling. Over the years, Sawyer showed innovation, often taking on diverse roles that showcased his versatility. In the early days, he appeared in classic westerns, playing both heroes and villains. Later, he transitioned to television, becoming a familiar face in popular series of the time. Despite the changing landscape of the entertainment industry, Sawyer's dedication to his craft remained constant. His performances resonate with many, leaving a lasting impact on the industry. Sawyer's work serves as a reminder of the power of creativity and perseverance. His enduring impact is a testament to the value of staying true to one's passion, even amidst industry changes. Indeed, the life of this actor is a tapestry of dedication, innovation, and resilience. His journey serves as an inspiration, reminding us all that creativity and perseverance can leave a lasting mark on the world. Joe Sawyer, an actor well known for his passion for cigars, sailing, cars, and shooting, had a knack for hosting lively gatherings at his Glendale home. Regular guests included the likes of John Wayne and Bella Lugosi. His love for cars was evident in his prized Corvette, and he never hesitated to use his basement shooting range at any given hour. Despite his Irish-sounding stage name and frequent portrayal of Irish characters, Sawyer's real name was Joseph Sowers, and his ancestry was German. Interestingly, he was the only actor to appear in the Ren Tin Tin series, playing the role of Sergeant Biff O'Hara from 1954 to 1959. The show was filmed at the Corriganville Movie Ranch, located 40 miles northeast of Hollywood. During those five years, Sawyer's work schedule consisted of shooting four episodes in a two-week period, followed by two or three weeks off. It's worth noting that during this time, he also supervised the construction of 35 homes in a Los Angeles subdivision. Sawyer's dedication to his craft was unwavering, and his impact on the film industry is still felt today. His legacy continues to inspire aspiring actors and film enthusiasts alike. Delving deeper into his work and personal life reveals a man of great talent and passion, leaving a lasting impression on those who knew him and those who continue to enjoy his performances. The story of Joe Sawyer is a testament to his enduring spirit and his contributions to the world of film. After tying the knot with Sam Wood's daughter, Jean, in New York in 1930, the actor, 
then known as Joseph Sowers, returned to Hollywood by 1932. His passion for reading was well known, as evidenced by the sympathy notes his family received from bookstores like Pickwick Books when he passed away. The actor, born to parents Joseph and Lavina Mary Bolton, who spelled their last name Sauer, changed his surname to Sawyer when he signed a contract with Warner Brothers in 1935. His love for the arts and dedication to his craft were evident in his many Broadway appearances, despite the low pay. Joe Sawyer, a notable figure in Hollywood's golden age, had a personal connection to the industry through his former father-in-law, director Sam Wood. Sawyer's film career included appearances in four films that have been enshrined in the National Film Registry by the Library of Congress for their cultural, historical, and aesthetic significance. These films are The Public Enemy, The Grapes of Wrath, Sergeant York, and Gilda. In his later years, Sawyer developed a passion for travel. His son Riley once shared that his father was equally comfortable on an ocean freighter or a passenger liner. In preparation for a cruise, Sawyer would follow a strict diet for several weeks beforehand, as he eagerly anticipated the ship's culinary offerings. This anecdote paints a picture of a man who enjoyed the finer things in life and took pleasure in the simple joys of travel and good food. Let's take a moment to appreciate the work of Joe Sawyer, a talented actor who left his mark on the film industry. His career spanned over three decades, and he graced both the big and small screens with his presence. In classic films such as Gentleman Jim and The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance, Sawyer demonstrated his versatility as an actor. He could play both comedic and dramatic roles with ease, always delivering a memorable performance. On television, he became a familiar face in popular shows like The Lone Ranger and Gunsmoke. His ability to embody different characters made him a standout in the industry. Now, it's your turn to share your thoughts on Joe Sawyer's work and legacy. What are some of your favorite roles he played? How did his performances impact you? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and share this content with others who may appreciate the work of this classic actor. And if you're new here, consider subscribing for more entertainment-focused content. Together, let's celebrate the creative spirits who have shaped the entertainment